Hey guys, sorry I couldn't be in there today. Um, basically speaking, I just have a common cold and was told to stay out for two, three days. And so therefore I'm not able to come into class because um, in order to work from home, I need district permission and I don't have that. Um, so this is why you are working with Ms. Montes and I am not in there working with you. Um, I am feeling a lot better. Those of you that reached out to me, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, guys, it's nothing, it's nothing too serious. Just, I picked up a cold. Um, with that said, I wanted to go ahead and help give a little bit of clarity and kind of make things a little more understandable for you. I've been um, in contact with Miss Montes and she told me that you guys, some of you, maybe not all of you, right, because some of you have been, have been messaging me, um, that some of you are a little bit lost with what's going on this week. And I wanted to kind of just see if I can refresh your minds and get you guys in the right place. So, you know, I've been out. And here on the stream, you can see that I've been posting assignments. I've been posting messages for you. So, on Monday, I told you guys that we were following a little bit behind. Thankfully enough, Miss Montes is around the same place with us. And so, we have been working on the Obama speech. I was hoping that by, um, by yesterday, you would have completed the assignment. And so, I had told you guys I was going to upload the assignments just so... That in case you were able to catch up with Ms. Montes, you would have all the material. She wouldn't have to reach out to me and tell me that um, that you guys were falling behind because I didn't load the assignments. Um, you know, and I also did mention that if you guys don't get to a certain material in time, I didn't want you to worry about it. I wasn't going to make you guys um, have to submit the assignments. It's something that me and Ms. Montes have been working and talking about to make sure that you guys are getting all the instruction that you need as well as not pending any materials that you guys are working on with her. With that in mind, of course, she did tell me that you guys didn't touch on today's assignments that I had posted up, which is completely fine. All I'm going to do is that if I do not come in tomorrow because I don't feel better still or I'm not 100%, right, that when you guys go with your instruction, you're just going to work on the material that we were supposed to be doing today right? A lot of it is just this is the expectation. If we don't get to it, we will get to it when we do. And if we don't, then it's something that I remove from your assignments. You don't have to worry about it, right? So again, if you don't cover it with Ms. Montes, um, don't worry about it. If we don't have time to cover it together, don't worry about it. Again, I've been real good about being honest with you guys about removing assignments, modifying to make it um, beneficial to you, not forcing you to do assignments that were assigned for the day, right? Um, a lot of what we're doing online, like I've told you and I've mentioned many times, is learning together. And there's an expectation that on a daily basis there has to be a new assignment. Um, and if we just don't get to it, we don't get to it, I get to modify. And that's what we're doing at this point, is we are modifying. So I'm not adding any more assignments tomorrow. Hopefully with Ms. Montes you get to cover that and we have that squared away. So I'm hoping that you're watching this video and you're like, okay, perfect. Like I don't have to stress out about extra work. I'm not gonna force you guys to do the work if we don't get to it. Um, I will talk to Ms. Montes about what is covered, what you do do, and then we will make modifications as we go. So um, the next thing I want to talk about is your login information. As I've mentioned here on your chat, you can see that I've given you Ms. Montes' login information here and her code. I have given you a Google form that you need to sign in for attendance. Some of you, or at least most of you, are being really good about it, uh, signing in and finding the information. Some of you messaged me on Remind, and that's how I got you guys to find the location for your attendance sheet. I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, however, there's some of you that are, have always been in class, and I'm just kind of hoping and, and praying that you guys are looking at those things that I post here on the stream because it posts your assignments, our messages, our objectives for the day, of course. And so here, of course, this is what you should be focusing on. You need to turn in this uh, form because if you do not submit it, I don't know if you've been to class. So you need to help me help you make sure that you're not being marked absent when you should be being marked present. So this one here that we're looking at right now, this one was for Mondays. As you can see here, it says 10 5 20. Up here, as we scroll up, I have given you your link for attendance. When you click it open for today, you know, it's going to show you 10 6 20 20, which is today's date. You need to make sure that you follow the information and you use it so that you can mark in your attendance for today. If you forgot yesterday's because you didn't know what to do with it, you were lost, you can still pop in there and add your attendance. But just make sure that you are doing your attendance because if not, you get marked absent. And I don't want your parents upset or bothered or thinking that you're absent when you're doing um, or you're following the instructions. But you do need to make sure to input your attendance. 
The next thing I wanted to talk about, of course, is your classwork. Like I mentioned, these were the things that were assigned. If you didn't get to it today, you're got, you guys are getting to it tomorrow. That's completely fine. I'm not going to upload anymore because me and Ms. Montes have already discussed it. And so I'm going to hold off because she says this is where you guys are. So do not worry about any extra assignments. Again, I will modify it for what we need to modify. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about, and before I conclude this video, is to tell you guys that I have been mentioning your CBAs for the past couple weeks now. Last week on Friday, um, you know, per period, I kept telling you guys, next week we're going to CBA test. Next week we're going to CBA test. You know, and here we are getting ready to CBA test, as Ms. Montes is telling you. Um, you know, she also expressed to me that some of you were concerned, thinking, well, I don't take English too, so I shouldn't be CBA testing. Um, <clears throat> and again, in my classes, my second and my fourth, of course, because first is a pre-AP class. Um, and I've told you guys that those of you that are in my research and technical writing class, you may not be testing the English 2 test, but you are most certainly testing the English 1 test. And so, basically speaking, the CBA is going to work in two different ways. You are either going to test the English 2 test because you're in an English 2 class, whether it be pre-AP or regular English 2, you will test the English 2 star test. If you are not in that class and you're in a research and technical writing class, you will not be testing English 2 this semester you will be testing for, C, uh, for English 1, which means that your CBA is going to be a retester CBA for English 1. So everybody that's in an English 2 class, everybody that's in a research and technical writing class, those also that are in my six block early college class, you guys will be testing some form of a CBA. If you're like, ma'am, I'm not sure what class I'm in, I'm gonna show you in a moment where you can find that information. You're going to come up to the screen. You're going to look at your banner. You can notice that right here it says second, research and technical. This is my RTW, research and technical writing class, which means all of you that it says are, like it says research slash tech or res slash tech. If it says RTW, if it says early college RTW, you guys are going to be retesting for English 1. I will be loading that information Wednesday night so that it's ready for you to load. And when you see it, again, it's going to say CBA English 1. And I'm pretty sure it might even say retest. I'm not too certain because I haven't looked at that information because it's not loaded for me yet. If you are, for example, in my English 2 class, right, my pre-AP, my first block, or you are here in my second block English 2 class, you will be testing for the English one, the English two star CBA, right? English two pre AP English two. You're taking the English two CBA, research and technical writing RTW, early college RTW. You are taking the CBA for English ones retesters. Everyone is testing. The only people that are not testing are those of you that are in my reading class that are reading one, reading two. You may have another English teacher, whether it be practical writing or um, research and technical writing, or maybe you're taking an English 2 class with a different teacher. In my class for reading, since reading is a different subject altogether, is not CBA test. So if your banner reads reading 1, it reads reading 2, you are not CBA testing in my class. You have an assignment that you are going to be completing. Um, I do know that some of you were having difficulty signing in to your Achieve 3000 into your IXL. I have been trying to troubleshoot and get that working for you. But again, um, as soon as I get that fixed, I will get you guys ready and good to go. So again, CBA testing is for my English 2 kids and my research and technical writing classes. When I load them, you will have your specific CBA ready for you. There is an instructional video showing you how to log in and um, submit your answers onto DMAC. It's something that we're going to go over. Again, I really hope to be with you guys tomorrow to answer all these questions. Okay, so with that in mind, that is basically all that we have to cover. Again, don't worry about assignments. If we don't get to them, I will modify. Make sure that you're signing into your Google Form attendances for attendance purposes. Make sure that you are preparing for your CBA that is coming up on Thursday. You are in an English 2 class, you CBA English 2. You are in a research and technical writing class, you are CBA in an English 1 retester test. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns for me, I definitely want you guys to reach out to me through Remind. I've been real good about answering you guys. If you have not added me to Remind, you have 
my login information per block. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to me there. So with that in mind, thank you so much, guys. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye.